Welcome back, everybody. Um, in this section, I'm going to code uh, two more functions. Uh, I'm going to code the decimal function, so let's uh, get this little separator here. I'm going to put a couple more comments here to separate the numbers from the other buttons. The decimal button's a little bit not hard, but just a couple of things have to be kept in mind. So when we don't want to have somebody be have the ability to type in like zero point 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 five. So every time somebody puts hits the decimal button, we have to scan the string to see if a decimal already exists. And if it does or doesn't, we have to deal with it in a certain way. So here's a simple way to deal with that. Inside the um the dot function, I'm going to declare an integer error and set that equal to zero. This is going to be something that we're going to use later in the program. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan to see if a decimal already exists. So I'm going to do scan to see if a decimal already exists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do if, and that use some of the built-in functions for the string class, if c dot length function does not equal zero. As long as the C value equals something, make a loop. For int i equals zero, while i is less than the length of the uh, variable C. This is the length of characters. Uh, increment i. So we're going to search the strings character by character. So inside this for loop, we're going to have an if statement. We're going to do if, and then inside here, if c dot substring. So what this is going to do, this is a built-in function. All right, now inside this built-in function, we have to give it parameters. So substring will actually go in a certain amount of characters and take a certain amount of characters. We want to go in i amount of characters, and we want to take one character from that. So what that's saying is we're going to go character by character, read it, and see if we could find a decimal. If we do, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do error equals 1, and then we're going to break the loop. Hmm, Pretty simple. Save. So once it finds one, get out. Do nothing. And then we're going to have another statement down here that's going to catch it. See if we're going to check to see if there was an error. So if error equals zero, so if there is no error, if there is no error, that means a decimal was not found. So then we're going to check to see if if c equals nothing, then c equals c plus. And this is, if nothing is in the calculator, it's going to equal zero dot. And we'll see how that works in a second. Else, C equals C plus dot. And then what we're going to do after that, display, set text C. So let's do build, build project. Let's see if this works. Okay, it compiles, point, there we go, see? Now if I do six, nine, five, blah, see how I put a zero point in front of it? That's because it didn't find one, and it did this. So let's run it again. Nine, point, six, five, and we try pointing again, nothing. Because it runs through and it finds that there is a decimal. So we can't sit there and do point, 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 point. All right, so now I'm going to look over this one more time. Just do a little quick scan through of the dot function. Make sure yours looks something like this. Do a screen capture or something to make sure that it does. And um, the other function I wanted to do was the clear function. So let's find that real quick. I'm going to bring this with us. Copy that. Here's clear. I'm going to paste that. Oops. Paste it between clear. And inside the clear function, we're going to do this. We're going to do display. So we're going to clear. We're going to clear the display. So whatever's written on there, make it nothing. 
And then C, we're going to set our accumulator equal to nothing again. Then display. We'll do an insert, a single character. We'll set it equal to zero. So now a zero is going to appear on the screen. And we also have to make sure that we set some space aside here so that we run the, uh, the clear function inside of our class. Clear function in our class. So let's save it, build it. All right. And then we're going to do build execute. 99 nine, clear. 63.210 clear. 7896.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0